What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am going to take you along for my 5am Disney dining booking windows. I decided to document the process of booking Disney dining reservations 60 days out and you'll get to see all of the dining that I ended up booking but I'm really excited to take you guys along for all three of my 5am early mornings. But before we jump into that footage, if you are new, my name is Becca. I'm so so glad you're here. I share all kinds of Disney planning content, tips for taking a toddler to Disney World, as well as vlogs from our latest Disney adventures, so I would love for you to stick around and hit that red subscribe button. You won't want to miss our upcoming Christmas Disney vlogs very soon, so make sure that you're subscribed and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let's jump into day one of booking Disney dining. Good morning you guys. It is 4.45 in the morning and I am up making dining reservations for our next Disney trip. I'll share more about this trip later on in another video, but because we are doing a split stay, the first part of our trip is going to be off property. The second part of our trip is on property. That basically means that for these first few days of our off property stay, I have to be up making dining every single day, one at a time. I don't have the perk of booking our dining for the length of our stay until my window comes for our check-in day for our on-property stay, if that makes sense. So today is day one of being up <laughs> booking dining for our off-property portion of the stay. So today is gonna be Magic Kingdom and I've made a note on my phone of exactly what I'm going for. That way I don't even have to have my brain going <laughs> at 5 a.m. But my goal is to get breakfast at either Chef Mickey's or Steakhouse 71. And then I'm gonna grab dinner at Grand Floridian Cafe. And then I would love to book the fireworks dessert party for the stay at Magic Kingdom. So those are my three things I'm gonna try and snag today and then I'll be up tomorrow morning doing it all over again. <laughs> so we'll see what I can get. It's 4.48 now, so I'm gonna get all logged in and see how it goes. <laughs> party version at Magic Kingdom for this day and it's 4.52 so I don't know what time it opened it popped right up so I don't know if that opens early um, but I just went ahead and booked it on my phone and I'm gonna keep refreshing <laughs> regular dining reservations on my laptop but I guess the dessert party opens a little bit earlier than normal dining reservations. So I don't know how early <laughs> you have access to it, but at 4.50, it popped right up. Okay, another tip is to have a world clock pulled up on your laptop, your phone, whatever. I just Googled it and clicked on the first one that popped up. And that way I know down to the second when 5 a.m. is gonna hit. So we are about 60 seconds out and I'm just gonna keep refreshing because every second counts. We'll see though, staying off property, you don't have the upper hand of booking multiple days out. So at this point, a lot of people have already been able to book on this day. So we'll see, but all right, we're seconds away now. <laughs> all right, Chef Mickey's is already gone. So I'm gonna get Steakhouse 71 at 8 a.m my phone ended up being faster and my laptop just is giving me the spinning wheel right now. So always have your phone ready to go, always have a backup plan because everything had been working just perfect. I had restarted my computer, the whole thing, and then right when you click on the reservation, you know, things can go wrong. So, all right, now I'm gonna just use my phone and I'm gonna do 5.30 dinner, and I'm gonna get Grand Floridian Cafe. This one shouldn't be super hard to get. There is a California Grill available. Kona Cafe is reopened, but I think I like the idea of 
being able to walk from the Grand Floridian over to Magic Kingdom. So I think I'll do that. I'm just kind of double checking. Yeah, let's do that. Because Grand Floridian Cafe usually isn't a big deal to grab. So I'm gonna grab this 5.30 at Grand Floridian Cafe and my computer is still frozen. All right, and we're good to go. So I got my 8 a.m. or 8.05 breakfast at Steakhouse 71 and no surprise that Chef Mickey's was already gone. That makes total sense. And then that 5.30 dinner at Grand Floridian Cafe and then I got the dessert party. So pretty good. I mean, the only thing that stinks is that I'm gonna be up tomorrow morning doing this all over again. <laughs> but uh, I got everything I wanted to get. I mean, Steakhouse 71, Grand Floridian Cafe, not super difficult, but it is Christmas time, it's December. You just never know what's gonna go quick and what's gonna be available. So, all right, it is 5.05 .05 and I'm gonna go back to bed and I will see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> all right, day two of booking off-property dining. Today is Animal Kingdom and I would love to get Tusker House for lunch or dinner, I would do either, kind of whatever I can find, but I realize that Tusker House, because it's a character meal, it's very popular, so I may have just gotten up for nothing because it might already be gone. <laughs> because again, I'm booking for our off-property stay, so I don't have the upper hand with our booking window right now. So we'll see, but I'll see if Tiffin's is available. That's another one that I would enjoy, but I would love Tusker House first. So if I can't get Tusker House, if that's just not available, I'll check like a late breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'll check all the meals. If I can't find anything, I'll try to get Tiffin's, but that may already be gone too. Tiffin's is also another popular one. We'll see, but here we go. It is, what time is it now? 4.56. Here we go. I'm all set. We still have a couple more minutes. I'm gonna keep refreshing. <laughs> but I should add that for yesterday's reservations, I went ahead and set up a mouse dining alert for Chef Mickey's. So we'll see that may come through in the next 60 days, or it may not. <laughs> I don't know, on our last trip, I never got a notification for Chef Mickey's or any kind of cancellation but it never hurts to get an alert set up. So if I can't get Tusker House, I'll just go ahead and set up an alert on mouse dining. And then, you know, if somebody cancels, they could cancel this morning or it could be sometime in the next 60 days. That way I can get an alert and, uh, you know, try to snag it later on. So I'm not just gonna give up, but I am gonna try for it this morning. Okay, Tusker House is already long gone for breakfast lunch and dinner. So let's see about Tiffin's. Okay, I'm gonna snag a 5.50 dinner at Tiffin's and I'm just gonna grab that and then set my alert for Tusker House if that opens up later on. But at least we got Tiffin's and I'm gonna set an alert for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> and we'll just see if anything pops up later on down the road. So, all right, well, that's it for day two of <laughs> off-property dining. Having to go one day at a time really stinks, but tomorrow opens up my window for our check-in day when we're staying on property. So tomorrow I can book, how many days? I have it on my phone. Tomorrow I can book, four days, one, two, three, four, five, five days of dining I can book tomorrow. And I have it all mapped out and I'm trying to put some of the harder priority meals at the end of our trip. That way I have the upper hand. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow, but yeah, it's 5.05. .05. I'm gonna go back to bed. Hopefully this morning I can go back to sleep for just a little bit before Ellie Rose gets up. So that's it.
day two of dining, Animal Kingdom. We got Tiffins. That's it. So <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow for day three of dining. Here we are, day three. Wow, it is very early. <laughs> and this is my booking window for our on property stay. So I have written out, <laughs> last night I wrote out my priority list. So I have my number one, my number two of everything I'm gonna book in order first and we're gonna go from there. So that's my game plan. I'm gonna start with the most difficult reservation. I'm gonna start with Topolino's dinner and kind of work my way from there. So here we go. <laughs> Those two were good. My phone is being quicker for some reason. It's just been easier to maneuver. Okay, I'm trying to get Wine Bar George and for some reason, that's not available. So I just keep switching the time. I've been changing it to like six o'clock, 6.30, kind of going back with those two. But let's see, maybe if I just switch it to dinner, yeah so strange so when i moved it over to dinner all this about all this availability popped up all right wine bar george is good and then my next one i wrote this on the back of an envelope like card <laughs> so it's like all torn up got 505 at citricose okay next <laughs> is tuesday at Brown Derby, if they have Hollywood and Vine. Let me switch times to lunch because more things have been popping up when I switch it to the lunch or dinner option as compared to a more specific time for some reason. And no Hollywood Brown Derby. Okay, let me keep playing around with the time. Okay, well, I may have to set an alert for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and check on our last morning breakfast. So the only one that I still need to get is either Hollywood and Vine and Hollywood Brown Derby. Either one of those two for either lunch or dinner, whichever one. So I might sit here and keep refreshing, but I'll tell you what I got so far, which I'm really, really excited about. We got Steakhouse 71 and Grand Floridian and then the Magic Kingdom dessert party. We have Tiffin's for dinner, uh, Wine Bar George, breakfast at Crystal Palace. I'm really excited about that one. I got a 10.30 breakfast. And that way my plan is that we could maybe just snack for lunch and then we'll do Citricose for dinner that night. I have dinner at Topolino's. I'm really excited about that. And then breakfast at Kona Cafe, which I'm really excited about Kona since it's been closed for a little while, so I think it'll be really good. So I'm really excited about what I got, especially breakfast at Crystal Palace and dinner at Topolino's. I'm really, really excited that I got those. And the, I mean, there's just a couple more that I'll have my mouse dining alerts set for, but for the most part, I feel like I got everything that was really, really important. Crystal Palace and dinner at Topolino's were kind of the two that I was dying to get. So I'm really, really excited that I got those. And it just goes to show that having that on property booking window perk really makes a difference. Like if there is a reservation that you're dying to get like Topolino's or Cinderella's Royal Table or some of those, they just don't pop up unless you book them 65 days out. So we'll see if I'm able to get 
the Hollywood and Vine or Hollywood Brown Derby. I'm really shocked that Hollywood Brown Derby is gone, especially 61 days out. I really, I put that on my lower priority list because I thought it would be available. <laughs> but you never know. But I feel like those are more likely to pop up later on. So who knows? I feel like I might be able to get those. But anyway, that's it. So yeah, it is 5.10 now. <laughs> but that wraps it up for my three days of Disney dining booking <laughs> for our off property stay and our on property stay. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Maybe you got a couple of tips from this or it was just interesting to see it kind of play out in real life, how someone books their dining at 5 a.m. So <laughs> this is very different for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and thank you guys again. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.